morning, people. Uh, welcome back to the channel. It's Chrissy Sawyer here. Um, so I just wanted to do a very quick energy grab of um, the week ahead. Um, some very soft energies around at the moment and some deeply healing energies as well. So you might be meeting a bit of shadow. Um, <clears throat> and needing to rest maybe and needing to be very soft with yourself. Um, so I kind of just want to say before I go into the reading, be soft with yourself and gentle with yourself because there's a lot happening that we can't see, but that the body and the um, uh, energy fields can feel, okay? Yeah, so um, <laughs> I've blended two decks for today and um, they're... <laughs> They're not behaving. Um, or my hands aren't big enough. Um, firstly, I just want to uh, do a couple of shout outs. Um, so a shout out to um, Michelle Annunziata. I hope I've got that right. Welcome to the channel. Walks with purpose. Welcome to the channel and to Honest Rage. It's lovely to see you here. Okay, um, and a little announcement. I've put a new link in the description box, um, which will lead you to um, every deck that I use. Okay, and I've linked them all to Amazon. So if you wanna buy them, check them out, feel free to do so. Okay, so as I was shuffling these, um, two went flying. <laughs> And I, I want to start with those two for the energies that are building this week. Remember, we, we're gently coming in, gently, to Aries season. And um, mm, I'm getting a kind of, sorry about the light. I'm getting a kind of 10 of wands energy with this and burdens and are you carrying too many burdens? Let me phrase this as a question. How good are you at asking for help? What goes on in you when you ask others for help? Maybe there's a fear of some judgment or that you'll be seen in a different way or stepping into a more vulnerable you And this is talking about the inner dialogue and, you know, dropping questions into the inner landscape, but I'm getting this as relationships. Um, yeah, relationships. Okay. <clears throat> and this is kind of echoing the inner message. So apply it whichever way it lands. And of course, with all of these videos, I take what resonates, leave what doesn't, and govern yourselves accordingly. It's your story. Hmm, 44. What I'm getting is the building within is building without. Okay, okay. So if we go 2020 into 2021, for the people that worked with this hermit energy that went within and learned how to dialogue with self and do the inner work, Guess what? Okay. <laughs> when the universe asks it of you and you make a commitment to it, it doesn't just turn up, it will arrive as a test or a challenge. Okay. Depending on how open you are to stepping into deeper layers of vulnerability yeah we're in the swimming seas of pisces there's some there is some deeply beautiful energy watery and cosmic and just yesterday i just felt in love with life but i know not everybody is there i know there are people who are in some pretty deep shadow um so yeah this is basically saying the best answers 
come from within and I would challenge that because sometimes you can be in a conversation and somebody will say something so abstract and random but it will just doing it will land and it will keep on landing and you might be chewing over that stray thought for days so I think the theme is asking I think the theme is asking and what I'm getting is that's to do with Aries season coming in um yeah they're showing me the wish card now um and sometimes we've got to ask for what we want <laughs> When I'm in the flow, magic happens. <laughs> Star card. When I'm in the flow and responding to every movement, then it just happens. Every synchronicity happens and things fall into place and Saturn comes in and divine timing takes place. And that's beautiful. And that will reveal any stuckness in you. Okay. God, look at these energies. Deep inner journeying, journeying, cocooning. I've had a couple of, <laughs> there's been two, the weather in the UK is bizarre. Well, it's not bizarre, it's the weather in the UK. And we're having like two days of stormy, rainy winds and then two days of sunshine. And today it's just lovely sunshine, but the clouds coming over and it will change. And there's been these moments where I've been staring, I sat in the garden. And I can hear all this guilt tripping about, oh, it's lovely weather, you should go for a walk. <laughs> no, I'm cocooning. Go away, I'm basking. So some really deep healing energy. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so um, what's gonna support the collective? What energy can we work with to really get the most out of this third week in March, what energy can we work with? Hmm. So there's the shadowy work, diving for the light digging down into the rubble of, yeah, I've just brought you a stray old guilt narrative. It's a nice day, you should go for a walk. And it might be a bigger ancestral one because Pisces is cleaning up now. It's uh, approaching the first spin cycle. <laughs> okay, washing the dirt out of the jeans. <laughs> and so I know there are a lot of you doing shadow work and I don't mean to be glib and giggly, um, because you're awesome, because when you do it for yourself, you know, at a quantum level, you're doing it for the collective, you're doing it for your ancestors and beautiful. So what this is looking like actually is the within and without, within and without, and this is bringing in, um, there's a kind of message about, See what love surrounds you. And even if that's just the home that you've built and how beautiful it is, even if it's the, your shoe collection, even if it's the friends and the family, really take, it's going to be quite a soft week of reflection and pensivity and just quiet thinking. And as we wrap up this, this we're coming to the end of the astrological year. And so it's like Thanksgiving. Ah. Oh. It's like Thanksgiving. Oh, how lovely. Yeah, that's it. It's Thanksgiving. <laughs> for what's within and for what's without. So we've got, oh, and we're coming up to Equinox. Oh my gosh, this so you are on fire. Spirit is showing off today. It's the within and without. It's the equilibrium of the Equinox, which is coming up. So we're rebalancing the inner with the outer, the dark light with the light light, it's rebalancing, ready to take the hand of Aries and get pulled mercilessly forward. That's beautiful. Okay. Um, and one really focusing message, please. One focusing message. Oh, 
Oh, what? Cosmic egg, look at this. It's like everything you've been birthing, nurturing, all your seedlings, the new parts of you, the different ways of expression, the newfound courage, the dissolving of old beliefs and values, the clearing of your ancestral stuff is breaking out now. It's going to show itself in, and it, indeed it is. It's showing itself in the world. You were born to create. But it's a new way of creating. It's a, it's a creation that's going to be quite maverick, um, free from the requirements and the paradigms and the protocols that have kind of created this kind of small creation within. And, and creation is as feminine, oh my God, it's proper belly, placental, it's wild, you know? And a couple of videos ago, we were talking about, well, it's the Hecate video, we're talking about the return of the wild woman and the, the wild howling voice. It isn't tidy, it's beautifully messy and chaotic and dynamic. Um, and in comes the masculine. So this is airy season will come in, masculine, solar plexus. <laughs> We'll come in and we're getting ready for that. It's not time to leap just yet. Just stay in the cocooning, balancing inner gratitude, outer gratitude, the dark light with the light of wisdom, the higher planes, and bringing them together, ready for equinox. What am I going to call this? Thanksgiving. I'm going to call it Happy Thanksgiving. Um, yeah, okay. Okay. And the last message, because I gotta go. I think this is one of the biggest lessons that uh, the collective have been learning is in the absence of the external structures. So lockdown. <laughs> We've had to go further and further within to find more and more aspects of our light, our inner light. And what that is teaching in the broader picture is self-trust. Because you've got this, you had it all along. It's just that all the external structures came in and interrupted the process a bit. So it's moving into this really pure expression of self, really pure expression of self, free from, you know, patriarchal nonsense. So my darlings, I must go. Um, thank you so much for the, how do I put it, abundance and flourishing of this little family. You are, it doesn't exist without you. So my thanks doesn't really convey the sense of wonder. That's my Thanksgiving. My Thanksgiving is to you guys for being here for sharing, for chatting to one another, for liking and subscribing, sharing my videos. I'm blown away. I, I am blown away. I feel so loved. I feel so loved. Thank you so much for being here. So until soon, um, I will bid you a fond week and happy cocooning. Um, I'll see you again soon. Much love. Bye.